morning. He left already. He said he's gonna be late. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Come on, don't be like that. I just know they'll come in handy. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this, or like this. What about this? Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Wait, so the one that disappeared was the Amagi girl? Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um... Am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh... Hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And 
with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Everywhere. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her Sal, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it, it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive, and the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? What the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me! Yukiko's the victim here, dammit, not the suspect. You're, you're right. So, what are we gonna do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. I'm going too. And that's final! I'm gonna save Yukiko no matter what! Are you gonna be alright? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? A uh, metalworks, I, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Oh, here. This one looks good. Oh, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel! Yukiko might die from this, for crying out loud! I'm going, and that's that! I'll be fine! My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey. Mind picking out something for me, too? You're our main asset in battle right now, so I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice, either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. 
Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness Food Court. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. 